And then eventually she looks down and there's just a Ouija board <laughs> floating there. A Ouija board that looks like it was just made out of a pl- it, like It Dude. looks like you went to like Home Depot, got a plank of wood, and made a Ouija board out of it. Dude, Kyle, I cannot, I could write the rest of this episode, I could complain about this prop. <laughs> I, I could literally complain about the main and most important <laughs> prop in your movie. <laughs> looks like somebody's uncle wood burned it that morning to sell at a farmer's market. Yes. It looks terrible it's supposed to be this ancient Ugh, cursed yeah. object could no. take 10 minutes and like rub some dirt on it or something at least stain it old do anything hello and welcome back to the 168th episode of good bad or bad bad the show where we watch terrible movies and tell you if you should too i'm your host mr brian shilligan join again what did we watch dude <laughs> what was this uh this was a travesty pile <laughs> coming off of the high of no retreat no surrender pulling back the curtain we recorded that episode about 30 seconds ago and now we have to talk about this <laughs> fucking movie <laughs> Uh, no Retreat, No Surrender was so much fun, and this was so much... Uh, the only thing I can say good about it is it was short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're talking about Ouija Shark. <laughs> so this is a movie that uh, I believe E.P. Hari sent us in mm. one of our mailbags. In fact, I don't even know if that episode's out yet. <laughs> It will be soon if it's not. Um, and I think this might have been an old episode that I think that I think it has that. I can't mm. remember because this was anyways. Um, but this was sent in uh, and we, we try to do, you know, the ones that we get in the mailbags fairly often. And I remember I think I ended up picking this because I clicked through it on uh, one. It's available on Tubi, which is always good. Mm-hmm. Um, but two, it uh, as I was clicking through, it was giving me some strong Camp Blood 8. Oh, vibes. Really? <laughs> really? And we again. This is the director. We. She's like, okay, I'll untie you, and we will spend fucking forty five seconds staring at this girl's ass while she unties ropes. And I'm like, again, we're just watching this guy's fucking fetish material, and it's really upsetting. It would be one thing if this was just porn, Kyle. Yeah. Fucking no. just make no. porn, you psychopath. Porn is a valid expression of sexuality and a great way to make money. This is garbage. This is fucking... You need to be in jail for this shit. This is so obscene. (laughs) This fucking... Just make porn, you weirdo. Valid expression of sexuality and a great way to make money. (laughs) I'm just saying. This is bull... This this shit is nonsense. This movie... Just make porn. Make porn or make movies. Don't make whatever the fuck this is. This is nonsense. <laughs> that, that that quote bot is now stuck in my head with a picture of you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate this movie. <laughs> and I wanted to torture us again, oh, Kyle. <laughs> God. Uh, find some uh, some young impressionable women. Yeah. Uh, get them to get them into their uh, bathing suits. Bathing suits, and then just film them with a camcorder yep. for an hour, Kyle. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is Ouija's shark. Uh, I I was a little worried too that this was going to be intentionally bad, and it's it, it, is. it is, but it's not at the. It's, it's very similar. I think it's one of the other ways it's similar to Camp Blood Eight is that mm. you can tell they're like kind of doing the like we're making a bad B movie, but also we're bad at making a bad B yes. movie. So but it the, kind the of other still thing, works. Like Camp Blood Eight takes the piss out of how cheesy it is this i think there's some areas in which they were attempting to replicate the tropes of a horror film oh yeah and then failed to meet that and that's what made it hilarious oh yeah uh, in particular the opening which we'll get to here i have notes about it but um so yeah uh 2020 film we'll get into it i don't know so the the on imdb and on the box here it says directed by scott patrick does he exist? I could not find him. And in the movie itself, the credits say directed by Brett Kelly. Mm. 
point being, I, I, I don't know if somebody <laughs> tried to get their name off of this or on or whatever, yes. but who knows? Somebody um, got their name stuck on it. We'll put yeah, it that way. Yeah. <laughs> We get into the opening credits, and there's a, a production logo that comes up that says "Say What Productions." That looks like um, it, it gave me strong uh, student film vibes, and mm. that did not stop for the rest of this. No. There, in particular, there's a handful of scenes, and I have notes that I was like, "I feel like I'm back in school yep. watching a student film." <laughs> Crackers. What? Uh, do you want some crackers? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and and green screen a shark, <laughs> uh, like a rubber shark. Yes. Oh my god, is that a shark? Or a ghost? <laughs> and we're going to add uh, a glow effect. A glow to effect it. to it, and, and that's, that's it. it. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> That's the shark. We'll get there. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and by the way, not a particularly great green screen either. Their spill suppression was a little, a little rough. Yeah. <gasps> oh, are you like some sort of air balloon or something? The opening credits play. It's like over like, again, it's it's the, a generic white font over random shots of like sea monsters and stuff, which has yes. nothing to do nothing, with this nothing. movie. One of them's like literally a Norwal. Yeah, it's nothing to do with this movie at all. And there's also like witches like doing like a spell around a cauldron or something. Again, nothing. I think it's just because that was like a stock I'm not, photo. I'm, I'm there not gonna lie, because I know this is in Canada, and they started doing like sea monsters and witch and, and witches and stuff. I was starting to get a little Billy Owen vibes from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit for sure. It is definitely Canada. We'll, we'll get. We'll find that out later. I don't even have a clue what's going on. Oh, once it, once we get through the opening credits, we open up on a car pulling up and parking. You know, it's going to be a good movie when it's on black, fade in, handheld camcorder, tire of car yes. rolls into shot and stops. I was like, I will uh, kill myself, Kyle. Uh, like, what the fuck uh, are we this, doing? The, why? Because this, this looks like something we could make. Uh, it's the word. No, we could do way better than this. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, and that is not saying much. But yeah, that's. Uh, so this car pulls up and this woman gets out and I believe she is wearing the band t-shirt for the band that is in this movie, yes. which is called Goat. Goat. Great. Um, and who did like the music, uh, any of the music that is not produced by Kevin McLeod, oh <laughs> which if you're God. a film person yes, and, and yes. you've used some stock, uh, Kevin some royalty McLeod free. is, uh, he, he has provided, <laughs> if you, you've heard his stuff. Yes. It's all, if you go to, go to YouTube's music library right now, it's, it's, it's all there. Kevin McLeod. Um, is tons of it, uh, and that's most of the music in this, except for the stuff that is like our band played the song in the scene <laughs> or whatever. Now you summon something from the deep, something dark and something mean. Now everybody's dead. It's the Ouija shot. This movie, Kyle, is an hour and ten minutes long. The first ten minutes of this movie is just a woman walking through the woods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, well, can we get to? Something. No, we gotta pad this. Brian, we shot 20 minutes worth of a movie. Yes. We gotta pad it out. A hundred percent. Oh my god, it's insane. Oh. Um, so we just watch her walk through the woods from eight different angles for fucking five or six minutes, just walking down a path in the woods. <laughs> I guarantee you, I guarantee, despite the fact that this is 70 minutes, I guarantee you, it's still, if you were to exclude the credits, a longer run time than Jezebeth. Oh, you think? Sounds like a test. It's yeah, a with the credits, yeah, with the credits, maybe, because the, the credits in this, there's seven minutes of credits at the end, and there's like one or two minutes at the mm -hmm. beginning. Jezebeth, I believe, was like 20 minutes <laughs> worth of credits, so, yeah, <laughs> that actually tracks. <laughs> That tracks. Um, so she finally, she walks forever and then eventually gets down to this beach. And as she's walking onto the beach, of course, beach. the audio is, yeah, well, it's a gravel beach in Canada. Yeah, like clear, clearly this is a, like 
it's it's just a lake in yeah a lake in Canada. Oh what, what a statement to make! A lake in Canada, one so of eight everywhere. Million seven, yeah, um, but she she gets on the speech, uh, and during the scene, all the audio initially is only through the left ear, or all the sound of like the audio from her. Yeah, the sound mixing is, for this movie is pretty. Is bad. only in the left ear. The music's coming through both channels, but, um, and then, so she gets there and then she sits down on the speech. She's supposed to be meeting friends off uh, or meeting friends there and they haven't shown up yet. So she's like, well, I'm going to go take a dip. So then the camera just sits there while she slowly gets undressed or I say undressed, change, get, gets, takes her clothes off to a swimsuit mm -hmm. or whatever. And, and I'm just like, okay, now we know why this movie exists, Kyle. Yep. <laughs> This is Camp Blood 8. This is just exists so that this dude can stand over women and breathe heavily into the yeah. onboard camcorder mic while they walk around in swimsuits. God. That's the whole reason this movie exists. <laughs> oh my God. So she gets, she gets uh, into her swimsuit and goes out into the water and... This is the thing I was talking about where they're like, guys, I know how we should open our shark movie. What if we just did the Jaws opening, but we fundamentally understood water. nothing about what made the Jaws yes. opening work whatsoever? Oh. <laughs> uh. Guys, is that you? Like it, it's let's just have ten minutes of her crouching in in a foot and a half of water of disgusting lake of water, disgusting lake water. As and then every now and then go, what was that? <laughs> it's like what the fuck are we? This is the worst. Um, but she she thinks she notices something, and then eventually she looks down, and there's just a Ouija board floating there. A Ouija board that looks like it was just made out of a pot. It, like, it Dude. looks like you went to like Home Depot, got a plank of wood, and made a Ouija board out of it. Dude, Kyle, I cannot, I could write the rest of this episode, I could complain about this prop. <laughs> I, I could literally complain about the main and most important <laughs> prop in your movie. Looks like somebody's uncle wood burned it that morning to sell at a farmer's market. Yes. It looks fucking terrible it's supposed to be this ancient oh, cursed God. object could no. you take 10 minutes and like fucking rub some dirt on it or something at least stain it old do anything it's just a hunk of wood that they somebody literally burned of the like design of a weed board it, into it, the, that morning the wood it just it looks fresh it looks brand new yes it, that's they, what i'm they, saying they could have gone like a like a dark chestnut and Anything. then and then take some rocks and rub them on it you're at the beach kyle there's, there's mud rocks and rocks just rub that shit all over it for like 10 minutes and then film it i don't what <sighs> are you doing it's insane i was so mad that the main and on, the only like prop in this movie other than the shark <laughs> Which we'll get to, is they they could not have spent less time like <laughs> uh, I was so mad Ugh. I was so mad about that. We we get done with this little scene of voyeurism <laughs> where she's swimming. Uh, she finds this plank of wood. Um, and then we're one eleventh done with the movie, and mm -hmm. nothing has transpired. Nope. Oh, sorry, she did find the Ouija board, I guess, but Ooh. other than that, nothing has happened. It's primarily been a woman walking through the woods and then sitting in water. Yeah, what? No, you, sorry, you just scared me for a second. No, nothing. It, don't worry about it. Look, where are you guys? She calls her friends and she's like, hey, where are you guys at? And they're like, oh, we're going straight to the house or something. Or oh, whatever. here's here's actual directions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, and I guess we just she just randomly decided to go to the she's like, I thought we were meeting in the woods. And they're like, no, <laughs> I thought we were meeting all at the parking lot in the forest. You're headed there already. Fine. Uh, how do I get to there from the beach? No, we weren't. It's like, okay. I don't Brian, understand. I need you to meet me in the middle of the woods yeah. uh, around this location. Yeah. 
Um, so then they they get to the house, or she gets to the house, and we're introduced to the other characters. It's mm. this group of young girls, like coll- I think they're supposed to be like college girls, like on spring break or something like that. If I had to guess, um, and they're they're pulling up to this house that they're house sitting for one of the girls is like aunt and uncle or something like that. And they get there, and there's a, they abandon this immediately, Kyle. But did you notice there's like one or two shots where there's like we're doing like a found footage, like they have a camera. Oh yeah, yeah. That never comes back. There's like two <laughs> shots of it, and it also does not work because it's the same camera they're shooting everything else on. Like, you, they just threw an overlay. On it. You know, you know why, right? They were they were in the middle of exporting it, it, it in After Effects or whatever, and they're just like, this is one layer. Why is this taking so long to render? It's taking way too long. Fuck it. We're not doing the found footage thing anymore. And also, nobody has a camera, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. At least they were using the phone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just don't. It makes no sense. I do it for like one scene for one shot and then Mm -hmm. never again. It's like, what was the point of that? It makes no sense. Whose house is this? A friend of my parents. They hired a caretaker to look after it while they were away in Aruba, but I guess they got held up at the airport or something, and my parents told them I'd wash the place. I told them only if I could bring my friends. And I was like, oh yeah, here's the group of young, attractive women ready to be ogled by our director. And I love one of the girls, literally as I thought that and was writing that note down, one of the girls is like, Caretaker must have left already. Oh. So no creepy old man to spoil our fun then? Nope. Awesome. And I'm like, oh boy, you guys have no yeah, idea. the guys behind the camera going, Challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah. To the pool. Patience is not a strong suit. Yeah, we're getting that. Hey. It's about time. Those were the worst directions ever. Um, but so they get inside and they're like, uh, I, one of the girls is like, I want to go to the pool mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, and then the other girl's like, she wanted to get wet as soon as she got here. Oh no, I feel like something's got me. It's, it's driving me towards the pool. The horror, the horror. <laughs> she says she wanted to get wet as soon as she got here. What? What? And it's like, ha, 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 ha. Wonder, ha. wonder who made her say that line. Ha, hilarious. Um, and then <laughs> that girl goes outside to find the pool and stumbles across a neighbor. <laughs> okay. This is the dumbest and funniest <laughs> goddamn part. I don't this, know if it's intentional or no, not. No, there's no way this is intentional. <laughs> this is great, though. This guy is washing his car. He's washing his car, right? Yeah. What kind of vehicle is he washing, uh, Brian? A 2006 Honda Accord. God, this woman is wet as she hell is for this. ready for it. She's like, look, at, and he is, <laughs> look, he's a, he's a, just a normal looking guy, yes. but he's not like a, a particularly handsome, model guy. He's just some dude in a t-shirt yeah. washing a mid-grade, like, <laughs> like <instead of> a <laughs> fucking Honda Accord. And she is like, oh my God, I think I'm in love. And I'm like, what is happening? It's amazing. I love it so much. And again, I thought maybe that was intentional. Like, they were kind of ribbing on that idea by having him. The funnier part of that, I don't know if you saw what was in the background. He had another vehicle in that Oh, no, did he? It was a Mini Coop, which is a far more interesting and attractive vehicle. Far funnier, too, to be washing a Mini Cooper. But yeah, he's just washing a fucking Honda Accord or whatever. Well, you have less vehicle you have to wash with a Mini Cooper. Oh, God. Brian, it's efficient. It's true. It's true. Um, but she's like, I'm getting in on this. Uh, and so she's going to start helping him wash his car. He's like, hey, you want to help? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, what is happening? And then we cut back, and the other girls are now just in the pool. With, in their with the music suits. playing and stuff. And the it is the like goat a, music playing. Yeah, montage of them, like, splashing each other in the pool. It's like, yeah. yep. Yep, this is what we're Can't doing. Blood eight. Yep, uh, always the sign of a good and not exploitative film. <laughs> this is good. Uh, and then we we cut back to the car washing, and it's just like terrible slow mo shots because it's footage that was not shot for slow mo. No, no, down. So it's like stutter, 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 stutter of her like spraying water on this car while it, the song from Goat plays or whatever. It's just, it's just amazing. You put on quite a show, and I gladly watch. And then we cut to dinner, and they get done with dinner. Dinner, and there's nothing. This is like straight out of Neil Breen. Yes, it's really. Like in Neil Breen, like he's like, 
Nobody eat the stuff. I need to make sure that we're good on another we take. One piece of bread and some lettuce on a plate. Nobody touch it. This one they couldn't they even get go. that. And I don't, I don't know if you know because like they didn't even, couldn't even bother to put anything in the cups. No. Because they all take like a drink and when they put their cups down, one of them makes enough noise where you're like, that's hollow. <laughs> mm, how are you feeling? A lot better now. Why? Yeah, why? That's what? empty. Yeah. Yeah. I love. And one of the girls, they're like stacking their plates, and one of the girls goes, "Is all the hot dogs gone?" And they're like, "Yep, we ate them all." Mm, that was incredible. I could not eat another bite. Are all the hot dogs gone? Done and gone. And you can see the plate is spotless. There was mm -hmm. never any food on that well, plate. Well, it, it was just that delicious, Brian. <laughs> it got every, it's licked every morsel off of that plate. It's like so clear they never had any food. There's one like bottle of mustard sitting yes. in the middle of the table and that's it. It's amazing. But they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do. They're like, what do we do now? We we swam and ate hot dogs. Like, what do we do? We're college kids and have like apparently no like, get, get, I mean, Yeah, I mean whatever. They're like, well, maybe we could find some board games uh, or something. And she's like, I got an idea. Jill, the, who is the main character, her name is Jill. She's like, I got an idea. I found a Ouija board. Is that a uh a, a board? <laughs> It's pronounced Ouija. <laughs> and they're all like a little like, I don't know about this. I don't know if we want to play Ouija, use play with this Ouija board you found on the beach in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And and Jill for some reason is like super into it, and I don't know why. Every what? I found it on the beach. Cool. Come on, we have to sit in a circle for all of it to work. You don't know why yet. Do we know why? Yeah, the phone call with her dad. Oh, well, but is that You know, why your she's... family's always been into the occult stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Jill, you've denied it for years, but your family has a history with the occult. That's probably why the board was drawn to you in the first place. Her dad, by the way, is the, is best, the best part, part of this whole easily. movie. It's not uh, even I don't close. know if you notice about the actor. He's one of the writers. Oh, is he? Yes. He is the best part of this movie, and it's not even close. We'll get to him here in just a minute, but uh, oh but my she, god. She's adamant. We need to we need to con commune with the spirits. Yes, she's like, Everybody, we gotta do hands. this. Okay, what do we do? Hold hands or something? Yeah, hold hands. Uh, that's not my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. We'd be serious for this to work. We gotta play with this Ouija board. Um, and so they start playing with this Ouija board and the planchette, they couldn't even cut a hole and put the window in the planchette. It's just a hunk of wood and they're moving it around and you can't see what letters it's pointing to because it doesn't have the window and they're using the point of it, but their hands are in the way so you can't see what it's spelling out, which is like the whole point of a Ouija board yes. in a movie is that you, the viewer, can see what it's no, spelling out. No, we are told what is being spelled out <laughs> and what It's so the terrible. Are. Uh-oh. That's a no. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but it spells out I'm hungry <laughs> and mm -hmm. then die. <laughs> yes. Whoa. D I E. Okay, I don't want to do this anymore. Die. Maybe we should stop. Keep your fingers on it. <laughs> and Jill is like, we gotta keep playing with it. And they're like, fuck this. And she's like, no, we gotta keep doing it. And then and somehow then, it unleashes a yeah, ghost shark. A ghost shark comes out of the board. And we're like, whoa, 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 what? what okay, everybody happening? keep your fingers on it. Everybody close your eyes and concentrate. Ghost shark. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? And then they're like, oh, well, oh, well, I guess that's that. And they all go to bed. And then in the middle of the night, Jill has a nightmare and wakes up and calls her dad. Yeah. And this is the introduction to her uh, dad, who is again, the best character, the in this best whole character, thing. and it's not even fucking close. <laughs> Hello, Daddy, it's me. Did I wake you? No, sweetheart. I'm working late tonight. Is something wrong? She calls him and she's like, are you asleep? And he's like, no, honey, I'm working late tonight. Is something wrong? And I cannot stress enough, this guy's performance is is insane. Yes. <laughs> it's insane well, you know, and amazing. Uh, you know, our family was really into the occult stuff. You probably shouldn't be messing with that. Jill, you've denied it for years, but your family has a history with the occult. That's probably why the board was drawn to you in the first place. Yeah, dreams can be a doorway to the unconscious mind. <laughs> I just had a terrible dream. 
Dreams can be a doorway to the unconscious mind. I've told you that before. It's like, what is, I don't know what his background is because he's just like, I'll look into it. I'll do some research on it. It's like Ma Michael Madsen yes, in short yes, season. Yes, it is. It is. It really is. You're right. It really is. We see Michael Madsen talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. and he's talking. Yeah, he's talking phone. like this. And of course, mol God damn, is she millennial or is she I don't know. Yeah, he's a millennial. No, she's this a probably millennial. She's like a little. But she's just like phone. Like she's talking like this to the phone. Well, what happened clearly is that it was supposed to be. It was time. supposed to be a video call. Yeah. And so she shot. They shot hers like she's on a video call, and then he. They shot his like he's talking on his on his phone. But I like to imagine that if it cut to hers, we would just see it's just like Michael Madsen's ear canal. <laughs> it's like oh, yeah. she's just like dad. The phone. It's. <sighs> hey dad. Yeah. Hey. I'm sorry to bother you. I know you're busy all the time. Holy shit. Uh, and in the middle of this phone call, there's this great moment where one song of the background, Kevin McLeod, royalty free music. It, it stops and, and then starts, and again. starts again. Dad, you have to believe me. Oh, I believe you. I'm just not familiar with that type of manifestation. I'll need but you can hear it pop. It's like, yes. <laughs> like they, they didn't put a fucking uh, they cross faded or anything. Yes. No, it just oh pops my in the middle of the phone call. It's like, God, you guys, come uh, on. Do you guys not, not watch this? Oh, I believe you. I'm just not familiar with that type of manifestation. Yeah, <laughs> no, you, guys, you're not, not, you didn't even give it a once over before you published <laughs> this movie. Fantastic. There was a shark. I don't know if it's connected or not. I'll look into it. If I come up with anything, I'll let you know. Okay. And no more fooling around with the occult. So then she's like, okay, thanks, Dad. Look into that. And then she goes to bed. And then it's the next day. And we cut to uh, these two kids who are like high schoolers who are going on a picnic. As you do. In the middle of the woods. And they get to a picnic shelter. And he puts down a towel on the seat of the picnic table and they sit there, and then she takes her shirt off. Yeah. And she's right. wearing a swimsuit, a top the, again. The, it, well, it's okay, guys. It's okay. They're wearing swimsuits. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. And then she takes her top off, and she's sitting there, and she's like, it's all right. I want it because they're, they're having the woo, the most awkward conversation I've ever heard about eating and swimming, and it's all very strange. We can do whatever you like. Uh, what was that thing that parents said about swimming and eating? Something like you shouldn't swim right after you eat or whatever. It's something about getting cramps. Yeah, I, I think that was it. But they're like, he's like, you want to eat? And she's like, no, not really. And then he's like, okay. And then they're like, she goes, I really just wanted to catch some rays anyway. She takes her shirt off. They're sitting under a picnic shelter. Yeah. I thought it seemed like, I don't okay. know. It's, it's so stupid. Uh, are you sure you want to eat now? Wouldn't you rather eat after we swim? I skipped breakfast. It's no big deal. Besides, I'd like to catch some rays. Uh, and and the way this is one of the scenes that the way the lines are delivered and the way the dialogue is written, it's I was transported back to college. I was this felt like watching a student film. Crackers. What? Uh, do, do you want some crackers? Sure. And it, everything about how everything is delivered and written, I it's painful. Was gonna, I it's the worst. We went to prom together, right? I know, I was there. What are you so nervous about? It, well, you know how it is. Not at this particular moment. No, I have no idea. Uh, but they they get to a point where they're like, "Well, I just had something really important I wanted to ask you." What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Wanted to ask me what the hell is that? What the hell is what? It's like, oh, okay, so we're just going that route. Yep. Uh, it's the ghost shark, Kyle. That's what the hell that is. <laughs> and the ghost shark, as we have said, is a rubber hand puppet mm -hmm. that they shot in front of a green the screen. The only way this could have been better, and the only way I would have accepted this as pure art and artistic gold, it's art, <laughs> is if. Because the they, the shark does this with his mouth occasionally, if it was voiced by Alvin Fling. <laughs> that would have been great. 
My name is Alvin Fuang. <laughs> that would have been great. I was going to say I would have taken it if, it if it was the rubber shark puppet, but it's just on a guy, and the guy <laughs> was in a green suit, and then they didn't they didn't <laughs> edit him out. Did so it's just a guy in a green suit running around going, arm, 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 arm. that would have been amazing. Uh, but Ugh. no, it's just, a, it's, like you said, they shot it in front of a green screen, and it just always... They don't even have a whole shark, or I guess they do a couple times we mm. see a whole shark, but most of the time you only see the mouth because they clearly just have the head and, and they bring it in from the side of the frame and it's like, arm, 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 arm. It's, it's the worst. It's so terrible. Um, Get back here, you pizza face syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, grab on, you pizza face cinder block. That's the re-edit right there. I'll do it a couple times, but I'm not doing the whole movie. <laughs> I'll do a couple of them, but I'm not doing the whole movie. Um, but anyway, so they start running, and this girl just does not care nope, that her boyfriend like, gets oh, eaten. Oh, thank God, he's getting chased yeah. first. Oh, thank God, it's going after him first. Yeah, and then even after he gets eaten, she's like, oh, he won't be hungry anymore because <laughs> he ate my boyfriend. <laughs> thank God. Okay, shark ghost thingy. You already ate. Please... Go away now. But then we get this shot of her running. She's carrying a stick to like defend great, herself. Great defensive. And she's running, and there's a shot of the camera. It's like a POV shot. Yeah, and I was like, this is the cam this is candid behind the scenes footage, Kyle. <laughs> of the director chasing this girl around oh, outside. God. This is not this is not supposed to be in the movie. They just used it on accident a hundred percent. Just like can't blood eight. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. So then she gets eaten. So both of these kids get eaten. And then we cut back to the thing. It's the next morning. Uh, our, our party of uh, college girls are waking up. One of them is waking in bacon. And she goes out to the pool to smoke weed and sit by the water. <laughs> and she sees the ghost shark. And this is... Whoa. This is something you don't see every day. This, this scene with her being high, followed by the scene of them all being hungover, is like the worst cliche, like back to back, like yep. stoner, uh, <laughs> dumb, uh, fucking college, like I need you boner movie. I need you to act really high. Yeah. Who do you want to hit? Here, sharky, sharky, sharky. This is some good shit. Whoa. Personal space, dude. Oh, it's a shark, man. Are you want some you want some bud shark? You wanna get high, shark? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you ate me. I just teleported away. You didn't When people get eaten in this movie, they don't it, get eaten. No, they, they just, just voip into another dimension. Yeah. Do you think you are a thing? Except they don't, because we there's also a fucking bloody hand floating in the pool. But but that is not. We never see anybody get munched. Is it is, is this a? Whoops! All that noise. Not rated. Okay. Well, uh, on 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 Tubi it's uh, or yeah on Tubi it's PG thirteen is what keeps. Popping That's what up they were the aiming corner. for. Yeah. Um, but there's a couple times where people get eaten where you see like a spray of red goo through the air, but like barely, and it's it's preservatives. They were carrying a jar of gems. <laughs> So stupid. Wanna hit? That is so cool. Then we get the classic hungover scene where they all come out and they're like, oh, it's so bright. Oh, oh God, anybody got any coffee? Ugh. And I was like, this did a did a fucking AI write this movie, Kyle? Yes. This is 100% <laughs> an AI wrote this film. What is happening? Hey, have you guys seen my Ouija board? Uh, I don't know, it should be over there. Look, it's not there. But it's a classic hangover scene. Uh, the one girl really wants brekkie. So no brekkie? I'm not going to make yep. any comments on that. Yep. And then... <laughs> you know what this film needed? Bad movie bingo. Oh, God, yeah. it's It hits everything. <laughs> and, I, and again, I can't tell how much of that was on purpose. If it was on purpose, fine. It, I don't think much of it was. Like, I, I think some of this, they were aiming for intentionally bad yeah but then they overshot their mark they over yes exactly and it's it actually very similar to like camp blood eight or um uh thanks killing where it's like clearly we're going for like a comedically bad movie but you failed at that somehow <laughs> yes. and i don't <laughs> it's 
really hard. Well, there's coffee and milk and what we ate last night. No brekkie. Oh. Um, but then, so they're they're like, oh, we gotta. Uh, one of the girls offers to go get breakfast because she wants breakfast, but they don't have any food. Um, and then she's going to the store. Meanwhile, uh, we cut back to Jill's dad, who is doing tarot cards in his yes, Tar- tarot cards that are shittily that printed on cardstock. Why can't you just buy a deck of tarot cards, man? They printed their own shitty tarot cards just, on like. There's oddity shops and stuff. It's so you can just go to Barnes and Noble, Noble and get yeah. a deck of fucking tarot. It's just insane to me that they they couldn't Ugh. even print them on the ones that are the right. They're too small. That's not mm-hmm. how good size tarot cards are. It's so infuriating. Sharks are masters of survival, and their power is unmatched. Manifesting such a spirit is ill-advised. Um, but he's doing these tarot cards, and then, I don't know if you noticed, but also on the counter behind him is all of the wine in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> There's like 25 bottles of oh wine on the, on the, it's insane. I was like, what is happening? Okay. But there is, anyway, so he's like, he's flipping these cards and it's like, oh, it's death and the D- El Diablo, the devil, that's the shark and blah, blah, blah. And the, anyway, so he basically surmises that the shark's going to eat his daughter and he's upset about that. So he needs to go talk to a psychic. <laughs> the Mort. Death. Oh, no. <sighs> So he rushes off <laughs> to go talk to a psychic. And like like not even like like a psychic medium that like I don't know. Like this is like This is the psychic medium from the beginning of that one movie, uh 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 not Vamp Again. Um What's the one where the there where she their 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 tent burns down? Uh where it's the sisters and the yeah, yeah. She's like it looks I, like what is that movie? Damn it, it, it was a long movie. It's one that you really liked. <laughs> It doesn't fucking matter. Whatever, it's a vampire film. Anyways, yeah, yeah, it's that. It's it's a very Romanian style. Yeah, yeah. Fortune fortune teller. teller. You've come to the right place, Anthony. I can feel the otherworldly forces all dancing around you. You can save the dramatics for the rubes. I just need to know if there's a way to help my daughter. But we'll get, and we're not even to that scene yet because that's where he's going. But in, meanwhile, uh, the other girl is walking through the woods to get to the grocery s- store. She was going to the grocery store. She said it was down the road, and now she's walking through the woods. I, you whatever. Have vehicles. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But she's. We also get like a stalker cam. Is the shark now like a pervert? Like, what is he's like hiding behind a tree? Dun-na. <laughs> yeah, Dun-na. That's literally, we're getting like these shots of we're walking through the woods like a serial killer is watching it, but it's a shark. Also, why are you bothering being sneaky? You're you, a giant fuck off ghost are, shark. You are affected by nothing. It makes no sense. It's again, they didn't know what they were doing, they were just shooting random shit. <laughs> Um, but she gets eaten, and then uh, we're introduced to a cop character who yes. has the world's worst police uniform. uniform. Although maybe that's what they look like in Canada. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But it, it, it's just terrible in, looking. In Canada, everybody, all the police uniforms looked like they were gotten from like a Halloween costume yeah, store. Yeah, or like it looked almost like, a, it, to me it looked like they went to like a military surplus store and got something, because it looks like they ripped all the stuff off mm-hmm. it. Like there's like places where there used to be like patches and stuff that are all like missing or whatever um but he he's like oh he gets he's investigating he sees their car he's giving her a ticket or something and then this woman comes up and is like hey my kids are missing or my daughter's missing and that's the girl that got eaten earlier uh who was on the date at the picnic date or whatever she's 18 she went out with a boy supposedly they went to sarsaparilla trail for a picnic or something well you know how kids are what's that supposed to mean and he's like, oh, I'll have my partner go look into that. And he calls his partner. This subplot does not matter. It's just his partner who's like a drunkard who's at the bar, mm-hmm. who is the husband of his wa- sister. Yeah, it's his Who's married to his brother-in-law. Uh, and that guy's an asshole. And he gets eaten while he's taking a piss in the stairwell. <laughs> the end of yep. his story. Who cares? Some more of the girls get eaten because this is the scene where they're at the pool and it's just Jill and I think Donna is the girl who's the other one and they're sitting there by the pool and they just randomly notice the bloody stump oh, in yeah. the pool and then Donna bends down to look at it and, and, she, and, just and gets... she just disappears from the movie <laughs> and I was like good for you you got out of here good for you 
Kid, no! She just teleports out of the movie, but first she did have to take her t-shirt off so she could die in her swimsuit top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, Kyle. Con contractual obligation. Contractual obligation, you have to die in your swimsuit <laughs> top in this movie. <laughs> Except for the guy peeing in the hallway. That would have been great. If, <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> he goes down. He's like going to take a piss in the hallway. And he takes his he takes his, his police uniform off. And he's just wearing a swimsuit <laughs> top underneath it. And then the shark eats him. And it turns out oh, the shark God. actually just murders people in swimsuits. So that's like its whole yep, thing. That's what it's after. It's, it's family. Uh, it's family was murdered by a swimsuit not murdered by a swimsuit but like like a, a swimsuit of in the ocean like fell and like it got caught and like wrapped uh, yeah. around like it's it's a baby shark's head and like strangled <laughs> it to death or whatever and so now it's murdering everybody wearing a swimsuit it's after revenge that actually would have been much better than what this movie came up with um it won't stop until it destroys the company that invented the swimsuit top oh my god donna kid no but then, so everybody is dead now at this point, and Jill's really up, really upset. Let me tell you. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> damn it! Her her way of, of expressing grief is, damn it. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> oh man, my dad's dead. <laughs> like that's like the extent of how upset she gets about stuff in this movie. Dad. That means, oh God, not you too. She's, she gets to the park. She was looking for Tiffany or whatever the girl that was going to get groceries realizes she's dead. And she's like, oh shit, I got to suit up. And she goes to her trunk of her car and there's a leather jacket and a shotgun. Yes. A very plastic shotgun. Yes. That they did not bother to replace the sound effects of it oh moving for. God. Every time it is moved or touched in this movie, it just goes, it just, it sounds, it sounds exactly like, like a plastic <laughs> gu gun. It's terrible. <laughs> they also have a gun literally. That, that literally has the that orange you can tip. See, that has, just like that. Just like this, where you can see the orange paint underneath. <laughs> and we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, it, it's, it's probably this exact, honestly, this exact airsoft oh, gun good. that everybody had in like the mid 2000s. Um, Brian was a champion of airsoft wars. I never have played airsoft no. once in my life. I played paintball quite a bit back in the day. I've actually never played. I literally bought this specifically for a movie thing in college. <laughs> so. But anyway, so she has her plastic shotgun. Then we cut back to, uh, oh, and then she bumps into, I forgot about this. She bumps into some shadowy cloaked figure. Yeah, what was this, what was this about? What the hell? You can't sneak up on people like that. Well, we'll get to it at the end of this fucking terrible movie, Kyle. But she bumps into the oh, shadowy thing. Right. God. The end of this movie is it's so, so fucking dumb. It's so stupid. Uh, and uh, and that's saying a lot for how stupid the rest of the is. He hands her the, the Ouija, Ouija board. Right? Yeah, and he's like, hey, this was mine. I trapped the shark in here and you let him out or something like that. I mean, who the hell are you? I know, I know the board. It, it belongs, belongs to me. me. The spirit of the shark is placed within it by me. me. Well, that's the that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Uh, and then that guy disappears and we don't see him until the very end of the movie. Uh, and we'll never find out who that actually was. Um, but then it cuts to the, the fortune teller and he's talking to this fortune teller. And he's just like, she's like, your daughter's in danger. And he's like, we got to do something. And the thing that he does is, is he grab grabs the, the ball and says, come at me, shark, you sons <laughs> of bitches. <laughs> hey. Over here! Fresh meat! Come on, you son of a- And he's just holding it, and I love this performance so much. And then the shark just shows up and goes, Herm, 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 and he's like, ah, ah, and then he just disappears. <laughs> it's incredible. Over here! And then the psychic walks over and drops a Van Morrison reference. <laughs> yes. Mama told me there'd be days like this. 
She says, they said there'd be days like Mama these. Mama told me there'd be days like these. I was like, what is happening? Why? Who is oh that for, God. Kyle? Oh, my mama told me. Mama told me there'd be days like this. And also, that didn't do anything because the shark just immediately goes to eat nope. Jill now. Yep. Like, it literally did nothing. It accomplished zero uh, So it's things. after Jill and the cop who was originally asked to investigate the yeah, stuff? Yeah, the original cop who was asked to investigate, he somehow stumbles across Jill. They run into this cabin together. Mm -hmm. And they're sitting there in this cabin, and they barricaded themselves in. Apparently, that keeps the ghost shark out. Yeah. Um, and they're sitting on the it, couch. It can't, it can't enter a cabin, you know? Just Yeah, not without permission. It's got to knock and ask and be like, can I come in? And they're going to be like, no, ghost shark, get out of here. And he's like, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Can I come in? Okay. She's explaining what was going on to him, and he's like, what the fuck? This is fucked up. And then she decides she needs to use the Ouija board. But, but she doesn't have, have a pointer thing. She doesn't have a... planchette the, is what it's called. It's called yeah. a planchette. She shows what I know. Where's the planchette? Use this. So he's like, here, this is kind of shaped like a triangle somewhat. Use this gun. Yeah, use this gun. And she sets it and starts using the gun. And this is where we talk about you, you see, see that the, paint, orange, the yeah. orange tip that they painted over. And then somehow she's talk she realizes her, her dad's dad is, communicating. Yeah, with so she's like, Dad's dead? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Shucks. And yeah, again, she's like, oh, dang it. <laughs> I love you too, Daddy. Bye. And then it cuts up to yeah. heaven. This is, the, this is the greatest part. <laughs> <laughs> Which this again is intentionally stupid, but I don't yes. care. It's still great. It still works. Uh, <laughs> they are in the ultimate battle of in the clouds uh, of, of 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 Ghost Dad versus Ghost Shark. Yes. <laughs> Oh no. no. I'm dead. 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 <laughs> and they get into it and he's like, I know, I have to use I my have to use my powers. occult training. And he starts he just becomes uh, he, Stephen Strange. He becomes Doctor Strange. He's just like, Barrow. <laughs> I've got to use my occult training. Mystic Shield. <laughs> He creates the fucking things, and then somehow this causes the shark to explode? Because we pull back and like a firework explosion goes off. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? Oh, and then it cuts back and she's like, wow, he did it. And the guy's like, the, the police officer's like, what's stronger than a shark? And she goes, what's stronger than a shark? Love in a human spirit. <laughs> I was like, fuck you. But also he didn't do it because the shark no, is still No, it just alive. came back. And so her immediate, her, she shoots the shark once. He's like, oh, that's ineffective. Shoots the Ouija board. Yeah. That's it. It's not working. Maybe this will. This is for my dad, you aquatic douchebag. Yeah, that shoots the Ouija board. Kyle, I have the ending that they should have done, and I thought they were gonna do it, and I was like, this would be- No, they go even more insane than you could possibly well, no, no, imagine. No, 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 I mean for killing the shark. Oh, for they killing the shark? Done. Okay. Because this would have been incredible. As soon as she pulled the gun out and puts it on the Ouija board, I was like, oh, come on, let's go. Because what I thought she was gonna do, which would have been incredible and so stupid, is that she uses the gun as a planchette on the Ouija board, to talk to her dead dad. And it, it fires. It spells out a shitty one-liner, like an action, like killing yeah. the bad guy one-liner, and then the gun goes off, and then that kills the shark because she was using it with the Ouija board, and it, and it like it shoots a the, ghost yeah. bullet at the shark. Oh, that would have been incredible. And it spells out, like, get fucked or whatever. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. I was so mad that that wasn't what happened. That would have been amazing. Ryan, Ghost Rider. <laughs> ghost Rider for Ghost Shark. Or Ouija Shark or whatever. But anyway, so I was really so disappointed that wasn't you, what happened. You, and so they're they're leaving and they're like, no more dealing with the Oof, occult or whatever. Done with the ghost shark. That takes care of that. Screwing with Ouija boards is a terrible idea. No duh. 
I could use a drink. You? I could use about six. Thank God. You think this movie's over? Camera pans up to the, the attic or whatever. <laughs> Pushes, or doesn't push in. It just cuts inside, and the shadowy cloaked figure is there mm -hmm. with the Ouija board. Again, not destroyed, even though it exploded in like the last scene or whatever. Maybe he doesn't, I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Um, pulls up a cell phone and makes a phone call. Kyle, we cut. You'll never get, nobody will ever guess. Guess right now in your head. Guess who we're calling. You'll never guess. What is it? We cut to the White House. <laughs> not, not, and Donald Trump answers the phone. Hello. The world's worst <laughs> Donald Trump impersonator it's answers so the phone. The project appears to have been a success. Right, right, right. I got it. How did the experiment go? It's really, really, really important. <laughs> and it's like, how is the ghost shark mission or whatever? And there's like, it's uh, it went pretty good. <laughs> It's a go. It's like it's yeah. ready for. It's like, it's like they're, they're. It's a what? It's a developed as a weapon to be used against. I, hate, enemy I don't know. I fucking hate this movie. It's Adolf, so was dumb. like great. This is gonna be huge, huge, huge. And then the movie <laughs> ends, and I was like, "Fuck you! What? This is the stupidest." Excellent. Prepare phase two of Operation Ouija Shark. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> Then there are seven minutes of credits on a, a movie that is only an hour ten long. Um, I, I will say though, similar to our last movie, uh, uh, the, uh, the only other props I'll give this movie, the end credit song, I thought was pretty fun. Now you summon something from the deep, something dark and something mean. Now everybody's dead. It's the Ouija shark. I'm sure the band Goat does a fantastic job. You know, they're, yeah. they're pretty good. Uh, does not service the editing for this film no, at all. No, not uh, at all. Because the, just just playing rock music to women who are in a pool. <laughs> Kyle, what else do you need? Come on. What else do you want? What else do you want in life, Kyle, except girls in bikinis and rock music in a pool? <laughs> You nerd? <laughs> bad, bad. This movie's fucking bad, bad. This movie's horrible. It's horrible. It's terrible. Don't watch it. Oh, uh, it's God. called Ouija Shark. It's on Tubi. Don't watch it, though. Uh, I believe there might even be a sequel. I'm not positive about that, but there might be. <laughs> I'm here for the shark. Let's finish this. Uh, that's good. <laughs> that was so as always, you can do us a giant favor by heading over to patreon.com slash GB or BB. Support us there for a few bucks a month uh, and get access to stuff. I have a podcast called This Film Is Lit where we talk about movies that are based on books. <laughs> get out of here. I wish that window was open. <laughs> I'm just throw it right out. Um, uh, uh, oh, no, I knocked a thing off the vent. Uh, I have a podcast called This Film's Over Talking About Movies That Are Based on Books. When this episode is out, our most recent episode will have been something that I don't know yet. Uh, no, a Drive. I think we're doing Drive. drive. I think it's Drive. Which one's um, Drive? Uh, the Ryan Gosling. Um, oh, right. Where he's, he's a stunt driver. Driver, yeah. yeah. I think, I think, I know we're doing that soon. I think that's the next one. Nice. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, check, check out, out merch. We got what? merch. Uh, tpublic.com slash GB or BB. Or not slash. You just got to search good, better, bad, bad. I like how you it. went from one day to <laughs> I did that on another. purpose. <laughs> Just, it's actually just a different band. <laughs> well, actually, this was at a Cardinals game giveaway, but it's for the band Ludo. Anyway, nice. it's the whole thing. But I, th I, I did that I, on I purpose it was just to mess with people. Day. <laughs> yeah, well, it, so uh, Ludo, um, one of their albums, they have pterodactyls. So nice. they used it. I actually love it as a Cardinals shirt. It, yeah, it's I think pretty it's cool. super cool. Um, yeah, anyways, it was a giveaway at a Cardinals game I went to last year. But I did that on purpose. I wore like identical, almost identical baseball shirts just to mess with people because I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Oh, merch, T Public, whatever. Yes. Who cares? The end. Uh, don't watch fucking. Uh, oh, um, go check out. I wanted to mention this again. Go check out uh, uh, Pocket Man and Cargo Boy Wrath of the Viper Sniper. Yes. It's out now. We're in it. 
I can't promise for sure, but our review will be coming out very, very soon. Yes. It's going to be one of our next few episodes, uh, so come back excited for that. We'll definitely have uh, some fun stories yeah. in, in some regard. We have some fun stories. Uh, we got a little bit of behind-the-scenes pictures and photos that we'll, you know, video a little bit, not a ton, uh, that we'll be able to share during that episode. Um, and we'll, uh, we have some stuff to share and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't, I have not watched it yet. I've been waiting until we do yes, it for the yes, show. I definitely, um, I, I don't want to ruin the myself only thing I've him. seen is the trailer, which they sent us a few of the trailers early on, but I have not watched the actual movie yet. Mm. Um, cause I want to, I want to wait and, and have that be the true experience of watching it for the show. That'd so be great. that'll be coming very soon. Uh, so yeah, look out for it, but you can go buy it, rent it on Amazon right now. It's just a couple bucks, uh, support the filmmakers. They're good people and they, you know. They're doing fun stuff, so go help them out. Uh, and until that time, keep watching movies. Just not. Don't fucking watch Just don't. Save your last remaining brain cells. Yeah.